In the Old Mill High School gym, the students gathered in teams of up to eight members for a common purpose. This program is designed to raise everyone's self-esteem. You work for peer buddies. Um, you know, they've never had, you can see they're cheering for every single person out there. So it's, it's a great way to build their self-esteem. As a player throws the yellow Polina ball, other teammates will try to row the ball as close to the Polina as possible, scoring points for being close. I feel great. I kind of like this game. And I, I wish I would win or lose. It doesn't matter. Well, I enjoy it. Okay, you see the Polina over there? Yeah. Okay, so let's stand over here. Yeah. Now you're going to bend your knees. And put your hand There you go. Good job. Look at it. Look at it. You did so good. For Allie Martin, volunteering to help the student athletes is very rewarding. I wanted to do this because I'm helping the kids and they never really got the chance to like play sports or anything and I feel like this will give them the opportunity to do that and it's just, it's a lot of fun to be with them. Borrowing a slogan from Special Olympics, teammates on the field, friends off the field, the students learn other life skills through sports. You bond with people after school. It's an extension of the classroom where the children get to learn how to behave outside and it gets the activity level of them up. Polina? Oh, good job. Nice try. Good job, Alex. From the good sportsmanship to the ear to ear smiles to the hugs and kisses, all seem to be having a great time playing bocce ball. Fun and cool. It's all about fun. We, you know, have practice. They get to cheer others on, see, um, and have time with with their peers that they may not see during the school day or after school um, if it weren't for activities like this. One, two, three, one, For the student athletes here today, winning or losing is not nearly as important as the fact they were able to participate. In Millersville, Paul Jaffe, ABC Two News.